What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to another Harbor Freight review video. Today I decided to go and pick up a tool that I've already have in my possession and that is the Portland 3-in-1 electric blower vacuum mulcher. And let me tell you, I've been using it for about three years as you can see, mine's a little beat up and I've gotten great use out of it. But this one now doesn't have all the functionality that the new one has and I'll get to that but we got three good years out of this one and I'm excited to open up this one and start using another brand new one. I also wanted to do a full unboxing and I would like to give you my overall rating on it and how I've enjoyed it over the last few years. So let's get set up, unbox and I'll show you guys what this comes with. Okay, so let's go over the components real quick. This is the main part of the unit. I do have to say the one big downside to this is it is a plug-in unit and you have to get an extension cord. It doesn't even have any sort of cord coming off of it, which can be useful if you wanted to do something really quick. If it had a long enough cord, let's say a 10-foot cord, you need to blow something off quickly, that would be much nicer. But this one does require a full extension cord. As you can see, I have that white one wrapped around our original unit. So you have your main unit here. This is your blower hose. So this is gonna snap onto the front here. I'm gonna go through each one of those steps. And these right here are our vacuum and mulcher components. So you've got uh, one of the hoses here. This is the extension to that hose. And then we've got our bag. Since I mentioned earlier that our old unit does not have the functionality of this, I figured this is perfect timing to mention that our bag ripped. And I'm gonna say it ripped pretty quickly. And that was one of the downsides. I did not get the warranty, which uh, I did on this unit. You can get a two-year warranty. I want to say it was 20 extra dollars, and that will cover this bag. I made sure of that. So this bag, uh, unfortunately for us, probably stopped um, being able to hold anything about six months in. I think the zipper started to rip, and then eventually it tore down this area. So that is the one major downfall that I saw with this unit, is that bag is not a durable bag. So let's go ahead and get set up and I'll show you guys how each component snaps together and how it works. Now before you guys get started, make sure you thoroughly read through all of these instructions. Now I'm gonna go over the setup and I'm gonna demo using each component on there, but I highly suggest specifically when it comes to this uh, vacuum uh, mulcher setting that you read through that so you understand the safety procedures and how it functions. But I'm gonna demonstrate that for you guys. Now starting with the blower so let's get set up all right guys so first thing you need to do is get yourself a nice long extension cord and that is gonna plug right into the back of our unit here there is only two prongs on there but I'm using a three prong uh, extension cord which will work just fine and all you're gonna do is plug that in like that and then to use the blower function you're all you're gonna do is right on the front side here you're gonna snap that in, it's gonna click in. There is a button to release it. So that's how you put it on and that's how you take it off. Now, this is uh, not a necessity. This is a blower attachment just to give it a little bit more power when blowing out, but it does decrease the amount of volume uh, spreading out that it can do. I've kept mine on the whole time. Now, let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you since we've got some leaves in our yard right now and it will give it a nice little demonstration. There is two speeds to this too. So you'll see here, that's one speed. Look at powerful. Okay guys, so next we're gonna demonstrate the vacuum mulcher part of the Portland. First, you wanna make sure you unplug it for safety because we're gonna to be touching components. We don't want this accidentally turning on. There is a uh, safety shutoff once you open this, but 
It, you can open this while it's spinning. I just want to make sure everyone's safe. So next we're going to remove our blower hose that we attached to use the blower. Next you're going to open up or flip upside down the bottom here and you'll see there's a little lock section there and a little knob there. We're going to flip that up, pull this down, and that's what I mean by being careful because that's what spins and creates the mulch. So we're going to flip that up and then we're going to grab our bottom piece. That's the piece with the little handle knob on it. And that part is going to slide over this piece here and you're going to pull down and it's going to snap in like that. This is just going to hang right there. So the next thing that we're going to do is attach our extension to our vacuum mulcher part. Now the way that this is going to go is you've got a little hole there and you've got a little tab on that. So what you want to do is slide this down and you can push this little tab in while doing it and you're going to want it to click in. There we go. So that kind of snaps in place. We'll go around make sure it's nice and tight in there. So the next component that we're going to attach is our bag. So make sure you get your bag and where your blower hose normally attaches right on the end here. This is going to snap on. You'll see there's a little hole and it's going to snap in like that. So it's going to release and attach just like the blower hose did. So very easy. You push the button, slide it off, snap it on. You'll hear it click. Okay, now we can go to plugging our plug back in and I'll go ahead and demonstrate this for you guys. So plug goes right back in where it was and I've got a bucket of leaves, twigs, and sticks. I'm gonna show you guys how easily this will pick it up. Now once again, you've got two speeds. The nice thing about this is you do have a strap that you can toss over your shoulder like so hold it like that okay so I was so impressed by how well this thing mulched some bigger pieces of sticks that I wanted to demonstrate this for you so I'm going to go ahead and flip this on Okay, now that we've got the unit turned off, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it again to take the bag off. It, like I said before, all you do is hit that button, pull this off. This does have a nice zipper on it, so you can go ahead and dump this out and use this mulch. Um, we use it sometimes uh, in our shrubs and stuff like that, but we're just gonna dump this out today because we wanna get rid of these leaves. But now you have it nice and secure in this bag to take off your vacuum end here. You just undo that like that. And like I said, this is going to snap back into place. You want to click that so that it works again. And now to use it as a blower, once again, all you have to do is to just reconnect your blower hose right here like that. And you're back to being able to use it as a blower once you plug your power in. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video on the Portland 3-in-1 blower vacuum mulcher and I really enjoyed doing this demo because I love this product. Now I'm going to go ahead and rate this for you guys. If I were in a store and I was looking to purchase this I would have to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. The only reason why I have to take one of the stars away is because I had an issue with my bag ripping in a short amount of time so I was pretty unsatisfied with that and I couldn't use the bag anymore. So once again guys, my name's Pete, this is Pete's Carport, and this is another review on a Harbor Freight tool. Have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.